My spine literally has my initial on it. Welcome back to my channel and today I am continuing my little series on my channel about all about all of my illnesses and I say all because there's quite a few of them and today we are continuing with my second diagnosis which is probably by far the the most or one of the most common or simplest of all of my diagnosis and that is scoliosis. Hey, that rhymed. Before I get started today, as I did in my last video where I talked about my makeup and everything corresponding to like the ribbon color for OI, which was the last video. By the way, if you want to go check that video out and then come back here. Um, today, like I said, we are doing scoliosis and the awareness ribbon color for scoliosis is green, which never realized that I really don't have a lot of green shirts until I actually was having to wear a green shirt. Anyway. Also, my makeup, which I'm also, like, I love this setup, but at the same time I don't because the lighting is just kind of bleh. Like, the lighting behind me is green. Luna! Luna! She doesn't care. That's my baby. Anyway, the lighting isn't ideal, but um, I have a um, got a green cut crease going on. I used my favorite Urban Decay palette, which is the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Yes. That was kind of weird. Sorry. Anyway, so hopefully this video will be a little bit more structured than my last one. Hopefully, because scoliosis isn't that complicated. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> straightforward. You, you, you get it? Because scoliosis, spines. Cur Never mind. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, so, um,. Scoliosis, like I said, was my second diagnosis after I was diagnosed with OI. All of the other ones just kind of followed suit. We kind of just stumbled upon the rest of my diagnosis through imaging everything, which is how we found scoliosis. So before I tell you exactly how... <laughs> She's so cute. Before I tell you exactly how um, I was diagnosed with scoliosis... My dog is really, really not knowing what she wants. Anyway. <sighs> oh my god. Um, let me tell you what scoliosis is. Scoliosis is pretty much means your spine isn't straight. Which, let me give you just a little, like, anatomy lesson. No one's spine is actually straight. No one's spine is, like, perfectly straight. Don't quote me on that. I'm like 99.8888889% positive that's true. Um, everyone's spine is a little bit curved. <laughs> People with scoliosis, their spine is a little more than a little curved. And depending on how bad your scoliosis is, depends on how severe it is, obviously, and how much you can see it. But <laughs> putting it simply, scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine. So... My name is Shelby. Shelby is shaped like this. My spine is shaped like this. Also, I will be, again, adding in a picture of my spine um, on an x-ray at the end of this video. I think that's the only picture I'm going to be inserting in. But, uh, yeah. So, this video should be quite a bit shorter than the last one. Because, like I said, not as complicated. I pretty much just told you what scoliosis is. It's a sideways curvature of the spine. Um... I have a 
left curve, I believe. So there's two types of curves. My nails are bare. There is an S curve, which is the kind I have, and then there is a C curve, which is the kind that one of my friends that I went to high school with has. Um, C curves are a little bit more noticeable because they kind of look like, like, like they kind of look like they have attitude. They kind of look like they have their hip out because that's how their spine is. Um, mine, you can definitely see from the back because my ribs are kind of like this. My shoulders, if you can, yeah, see? This shoulder is higher than this shoulder. I'm sitting up straight. That's another thing I hate when people are like, sit up straight. I'm like, okay, so, um, there. <laughs> anyway, um, scoliosis, unlike OI, is actually quite common, um, especially in females. So, scoliosis is very common. It is, there are more than, I think, three million in the U.S. have scoliosis. So, it's quite a big difference from OI. <laughs> quite a big difference. Um, but like I said, it is definitely the more known of my disorders and illnesses and diseases and all that jazz. Um, I've met more people with scoliosis than I have with OI. Duh. But yeah, so that's basically what scoliosis is. Let me tell you a fun fact about scoliosis that's actually not that fun. Scoliosis some people think, oh, your spine's curved. No big deal. Yes, big deal. Scoliosis causes me so much back pain. My back is one of the things that hurt the most. And it's a combination of my back being curved and my bones sucking and bone pain hurting. So they just combine to make this perfectly horrible little <laughs> symptom. Also, people with OI have a more like a higher chance of developing scoliosis. They're not directly like correlated or anything like that, but there there is a higher chance of people that have OI developing scoliosis. I don't really know why. I should probably look into that, but I don't really know. This isn't about OI, this is about scoliosis. <laughs> so um, the way that I found out that I had scoliosis was um, after I had been diagnosed with OI, um, Obviously, um, x-rays are another, or a big thing with OI because your bones, duh. Um, but they did a full body x-ray because they wanted to see how weak my bones were. Um, that's not right. That's not how you test that. I'm sorry. I don't, it's been a while. I was diagnosed with scoliosis maybe a, not a year. Maybe, like, It might have been a year after I was diagnosed with OI. I don't exactly remember, my, my, my memory's really foggy. But I do know scoliosis was my second diagnosis. Um, but I had an x-ray. Um, my doctor was looking at my x-rays and was like, huh, and you saw my spine, so all my spine was curved. They measure your curvature, so it's like a, like a however, however many degree curvature your spine is, is how severe it is. Mine is a 30 degree curve, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It hasn't gotten any worse since 2013? 2013, 2014? I don't know. So that's good. But, um, yeah, that's how I found out I had scoliosis. And it had gotten worse since I was diagnosed because growing, when you grow, it kind of makes it worse. Um, but once you stop growing, usually it doesn't get worse. Usually. Sometimes it does. Usually it doesn't. So, um, I don't want to say that it's treatable because it's not treatable. Mm. Mine isn't treatable because of my OI. A lot of my conditions, there could be more done about them, but can't be done because of my OI. It always comes back to OI. <laughs> Um, my back and my ribs are by far the weakest part of my body. Like, I have spots that are stronger than others in my bones and spots that are weaker than others. My back and my ribs have always been the weakest. And they've been the things that, you know, other than my legs, give me the most trouble. But because of that, I 
cannot, I mean, I could, but it'd be really, really risky to have the type of surgery needed to fix scoliosis. I also don't think my curvature is bad enough to get a surgery. I'm sure if I actually wanted the surgery, I could probably get it. I don't want it because the surgery, from my understanding, is it's a rotting surgery for your back. So like I said in my other video about rotting surgeries for OI, it's putting hardware in your spine. I, I'm pretty, it's something like that to make it straight. No. <laughs> that was like the biggest, one of my biggest fears anytime that my doctor would talk about having um, surgery for my back because I was in dance for so long. And if I had have, and if I would have had the, <laughs> my dog. <laughs> Um, the hardware surgery for my back, there's no way I would have been able to continue dancing for the time that I did. Obviously, like OI, um, you know, pain management, bleh, pain management is a big thing, and, you know, physical therapy, exercising, different things like that just to help. One of the other things that can help with, um, scoliosis, I almost said OI, that I <laughs> had whenever I was younger is a back brace. I hate it. I hate it. It's so bad. It's this really big plasticky, like misshapen corset like thing with all these straps that I had to sleep in and I felt like a turtle because I couldn't like roll over and I couldn't get up and it was awful and I couldn't breathe very well. I already can't breathe that well so it was awful. But I had to wear a back brace and it helped it you like it used my growing to help straighten my spine a little bit or keep it from getting worse while I was growing. At least that's how I understand it. But I didn't have to. <laughs> I probably should have worn it for longer because I continued to take it off in the middle of the night because it was incredibly uncomfortable. Like I said, I couldn't breathe or move very good. Kind of just kind of rolled around. <laughs> ah. <laughs> So, those are the things that can help with scoliosis, but um, other than that, that's, that's about it. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget, don't hesitate, good lord I can't talk, don't hesitate to comment down below what your questions are about anything, not just scoliosis, not just OI, whatever. If you want to ask me where I got my lights whatever i don't know that's the first thing that popped in my brain um anything if you guys have any questions please ask me i love answering questions and i love interacting with you guys um don't forget to give the <laughs> i cannot talk don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification if you want to know anytime i post i usually post a video every week if i can and sometimes I post more than one video a week, like this week. <laughs> so the next video in this little series that I'm doing is going to be my third diagnosis, which is my brain malformation. That one will be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!